Hey everybody, welcome back to another video for my YouTube channel. Um, as some of you who have been uh, watching my videos for a while know, recently I received from my good friends at Morningstar Engineering one of their MC6 uh, Mark II uh, MIDI controllers, which I'm planning on using uh, with my HX Stomp. I'm putting together a pedal board now in conjunction with a few companies, uh, Temple Audio, uh, who make some really killer pedal boards. I've got it all down here at my feet. It's kind of uh, <laughs> tough to get up and show you right now. Uh, but I, I'm going to be doing a video in the future just about how my pedal board build. I'm going to be wiring it up with, uh, with cabling from my good friends at Klotz Audio, make the finest cables, some really amazing stuff. Uh, and I'm going to be using my new Line 6 G10S wireless, and I'm going to be using a bunch of products from Mission Engineering, uh, who are good friends of mine too, and make amazing products. So my uh, friends at Mission recently sent me one of their Mission EP1 uh, expression pedals. Now that's the more generic TRS style expression pedal. Now the reason I got that, I have a couple of their Line 6 specific expression pedals which work great with the Helix, great with the Stomp. But they have their little TT2 switch which I want to use, their dual foot switch, with my Stomp on my board into um, the expression pedal uh, external foot switch input. So if I want to use that, it kind of left me not being able to use an expression pedal. And that's where the Morningstar MC6 Mark II comes into the picture. Um, I've done a couple videos in how to integrate uh, the Morningstar MC6 into the HX Stomp, how to set it up, how to use it for looping and controlling various functions. But what I haven't talked about is how we can use an expression pedal with it because the MC6 Mark II has two expression pedal inputs on it. Uh, so we can have it control or, or two expression pedals control whatever uh, parameters we want through that. But there is a little bit of setup and that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, as far as I understand, the Morningstar MC6 wants to see uh, a, a standard TRS style um, expression pedal, unlike HX Stomp or Helix, which require uh, just a normal TS version that the, the fine folks at Mission make. So, so that's why I'm using uh, their more generic EP1 expression pedal. So I can actually show you all of this kind of using the HX Edit uh, for HX Stomp um, and the Morningstar Engineering. They have um, a little piece of software you can install to program your MC6, which I showed in my first videos. But in this video, I'm going to use their web editor, which is actually really cool. You just plug your MC6 into your computer um, and you go to like Google Chrome maybe or your browser of choice. I, uh, maybe it is just Google Chrome. I'm not sure if they said that on there. but And it'll recognize it and you can do all your editing right from a uh, browser in your computer. Really cool function, I think. Anyways, I'll show you how that works and I'll show you how we can set up an expression pedal to do a few various functions uh, in conjunction with our HX Stomp, but using the MC6 as sort of the middleman between the expression pedal and the Stomp, if that makes any sense. Hopefully I'm being clear about that. But first, let's go over to the pedal board and see what we have to do on the MC6 hardware to set it up to work properly with our expression pedal. Okay, so let's do that first, then we'll come back to the software. So here we have our Morningstar Engineering MC6 Mark II. And I just wanted to show you guys how to set up your expression pedal with it. We go to our buttons D and F and we press those at the same time. And we go into uh, our settings edit mode, right? And if you notice here on the screen, it says expression one, right? So I hit my E button above that. And now it gives me some options. Message, clear preset, copy, paste, page one and two and exit. I'm gonna go to the B button and go to page two. And if you notice, there's a calibrate option here. And that means when I press E, it's going to calibrate. All right. So now it's setting set heel down. All right. So I'm going to go over to my expression pedal, which is off screen here, but I'm going to move it to its heel down position, as you can see. And then hit next. And now it saved that position. And now it says set toe down. So I'm going to go to my expression pedal, move it all the way to toe down and then hit save on that. And the calibration is complete, it's that simple, guys. Now the other setting you might wanna look at is sensitivity. We can either set it to low, right? 
medium, or high. I'm gonna set mine to high. Uh, that's what I've been using. I really haven't tested the others. High works fine for me, so that's what I'm gonna do. We simply edit out of that and our calibration and exit again. We're back to our normal functioning MC6 with a perfectly calibrated expression pedal. So very simple to do. So let's go back to our software now and take a look at what we have. Okay, so now that we have our expression pedal set up to work uh, with our MC6, we've got it calibrated and it seems to be working fine. Let's go over to our software now and take a look at how we can implement all of this so it controls what we want inside of HX Stomp. So I'm gonna turn over to my screen here. Now, um, here we have HX Stomp. Now, I'm just using one of my recent patches called Litigator Stomp. Um, for no other reason than it's what came up <laughs> when I, uh, when I powered up my stomp and I had a couple free blocks on here. So let's start off by saying we want to maybe control a volume pedal. Okay, so we'll go to our empty block at the beginning. We'll come down here. We'll pick a simple volume pedal. Now, as we see, this comes automatically assigned to expression pedal too. That means nothing for us because our HX stomp doesn't have an expression pedal. So we'll come back to this in just a moment, all right? All right, so let's go over to Google Chrome. And as you see, I'm just on a Google search page here. But if I copy and paste this URL, which is https uh, editor-mark2-morningstar-io, which is, you can just search Google for uh, Morningstar Web Editor. And we hit that. What happens is right away, since I have my Morningstar uh, MC6 hooked up, it recognizes it and I can edit this right here from Google Chrome. Really interesting, cool stuff. So if I go down now to my actual MC6 and hit a button, I'm on an empty bank. It'll show, notice I'm on bank five preset A. Well, what I need to do now that we've set up our expression pedal to work with our MC6, if I just simply rock my expression pedal, now it shows up bank five expression one because I'm set into the expression pedal one. Um, I'm guessing if I was in expression two, then that's what would move, right? So what we have to do is very, very simple now that we've done the hardware setup for our expression pedal. We simply come into message one. We can call our bank name expression if we want, and we can save that. I can come into message one and simply say expression CC message. Select that, come over to edit, now, this is going to ask for a CC number. So I'm gonna set the CC number value to 12, okay? Now, over here on CC min and CC max, what we need is to put in the range that we want the expression pedal message to send out. So I want it to cover from zero all the way up to 127, which is the max. So we'll leave this at zero. We'll set this at 127. And we'll hit close and we'll hit save preset. Okay, so this bank five is now set up to send out expression messages from our Morningstar engineering in the range from zero to 127. So what we do with that now, I'm gonna just get out of, out of uh, our editor mode. I can close that down. Now, we come over to our HX stomp in HX edit, and let's say that we want to control uh, the volume pedal to go from zero to 100%, right? Well, we, we select that block, we go to the bypass controller assign tab, okay? It says volume position, and position is what we wanna control. So I, I come to expression pedal two here. This is what it's assigned to automatically. We don't want that. We wanna come down to MIDI CC and select that. And we have to remember that our MIDI CC we assigned it to was number 12, okay? So now that we've done that, if we come back over to our edit tab, if I move over to my expression pedal now, we should see that move when I move my expression pedal. Nice and smooth. And we can decide to choose either linear or logarithmic, however we want that set, right? So very nice, smooth motion. It works just beautifully. It works as well as uh, if I'm using the built-in expression pedal on my Helix, it, it's perfectly fine, okay? So that was pretty simple. Again, we just come to the controller and we take it off the, the sort of default expression pedal too. We move it to MIDI CC and we assign it to the CC number that we had uh, set up previously for our MC6. Now let's say that we want the minimum position only go down to 50. Well, we can do that with an HX stomp, right? So I set it to there. Now you'll see that if I come over here and go up to 100, and when I go all the way down to heel position, it's 
set to 50. So there's very a lot of flexibility there and very easy to set up, okay? Um, let's say at the same time though, we wanted to control the mix parameter of our uh, delay, let's say. I don't know, just, just choosing that. Again, we can simply right click on the mix parameter or mix bar, hit MIDI CC, go over to our bypass controller assign. Again, change the CC number to 12, okay? And now this should also control our mix parameter at the same time as controlling our volume pedal from 50 to 100. Now, I don't know if that's of any use to anybody. I'm just picking parameters. We can do this as many, as many parameters as we want. I could come over to my drive on my amp, select MIDI CC again, go over to my bypass controller sign, set it to number 12. And now I'm gonna have a third parameter controlled by that expression pedal. So we see as I'm rocking, I go from zero to 10 on my amp drive. My mix on my delay is going from zero to 100. And my volume pedal is going from 50 to 100%. Whatever we want to assign it to, we can. And that's the point, right? And it's just that simple as far as setting it up to work that way. So I don't know. I hope that helps some of you guys um, in setting up just another option if we have an HX stomp. Like I said, I'm putting together a modular pedal board. I have a full-blown Helix. I have it set up in my studio. And I'm kind of liking, for most of my live playing, I have very simple presets I use. So the HX stomp is enough. And I kind of like this modular approach where I can grab my pedal board, have an expression pedal on it, have a MIDI controller, which the sky's the limit as far as programming goes, have the little Mission Engineering TT2 to maybe do, uh, you know, preset banks up and down, or it's just, it's just giving me lots of options, which is amazing. And I'm going to be powering this all once it's done with the upcoming uh, mission power supply. It's going to be a little tiny uh, USB-C power supply, really cool stuff. And it's actually going to even allow me to battery power the board, which is going to be an interesting thing to try. I've never tried that before, but, but opens up a lot of possibilities and a very quick setup. So we'll see how that all works out. But anyways, I just wanted to run you guys through the combination of HX Stomp with the Morningstar MC6 Mark II with an expression pedal, such as the Mission Engineering EP1. So go out and check out all these products from my, my friends at the various companies. Check out Mission Engineering. I'll have all the links uh, below for their TT2, for their new power supply that's coming out. Uh, for their great line of expression pedals and their great line of uh, speaker uh, cabinets as well and speakers. Uh, check out the folks at Morningstar. As far as I'm concerned, the MC6 Mark II is hands down just the, the greatest and most flexible MIDI controller out there. And obviously check out the folks at Line 6 for all their amazing products. The Helix, HX Stomp, uh, G10S Wireless, incredible stuff. So. So hopefully that, guy, that helps you guys and gives you some maybe some ideas on how to incorporate some of these products into your pedal board and spark some new ideas. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and uh, I'll be back soon with some more content. Ciao for now. Take care.